Hello everybody, Scott Meyer here, and today we're doing a very different type of, um, of gameplay video. Instead of uh, initially playing the game and reacting to it as we play, I frustratingly found out that this gameplay failed to record my commentary. So that's extremely frustrating. So instead, I had the idea whether this will work or not to just commentate on what I experienced. So ideally, I when I left off, I had to do this quick time event and I managed to succeed this time. I managed to completely succeed. Despite how stressful it was, I managed to do it. I had to earn the achievements and then the ghost passed by in all her disgusting glory and I've just been left hanging out outside the table. Then we move on to chapter two with Hannah. We start off at this really rich parlor party and we talk to this soldier person who has an eerie resemblance to that priest we saw earlier. He keeps having his eye on me and I just sort of slap him in the face for getting his pervert eyes on, on, on Hannah here, who we are now playing as for chapter two. Hannah is of course the wife of uh, Luke, they are the rich couple. So after much uh, musing presentation, it turns out that um, this, what I was playing here, was set just before the events of what we played us as Isabella. And initially, they had a penthouse, really fancy penthouse, and they wanted to move to a mansion. At which point I went, wait a minute, wait a minute! You have a penthouse with a high quality television, a big sofa, a big king size bed, and yet you you, you 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 have works of art, and you have you know a, a fantastic view, and yet you still want to go to this rundown mansion that is haunted by a ghost. And I made this joke about them suggesting it out of being drunk, like, "Hey, Lloyd, we got this comfy room, and we've got a board." No, we should do with all this money! Oh, fuck, darling. We should buy this mansion! <laughs> we should fucking buy it to go to the party! So, thing, darling, we'll get this ghost lousy as next day. This mansion's yours. Wait, what? Did we buy the mansion? Oh, we must have got a new moon now! <laughs> um, so that was quite funny on my part. And uh, what else is happening? Oh yeah, we have this German butler who looks a bit like Ed Sheeran with ginger hair and glasses. That was, I know he doesn't exactly look like him, but it was just a joke I made. Uh, looking at the journal, I found out, yes, this is indeed canonically before these events of well, what just happened. We found out more about Hannah Wright, her angelic upbringing, her business, and her eventual marriage with Luke. And upon visiting the... Uh, house and getting my husband to stop his wine drinking addiction we managed to make our way just fine and we managed to meet uh, Isabella from a, a different perspective it's one of those weird occasions where it's like we're playing a Phoenix Wright game but not from Phoenix's perspective <laughs> so that was quite funny also and also we went to this library and then something made me jump out of my seat basically we saw this painting of the ghost girl, and I essentially told everybody, Look, I know this game may not seem very scary from your perspective, but here's the thing. Horror games are more terrifying because they're interactive. You're in the moment. It's more terrifying that way. Need I remind you, clicking a new game initiated a jump scare. I am entitled to not trust this game at all. To make matters worse, when Miss McCulloch, and yes, they keep mis mispronouncing her name, when Miss McCulloch enters the room, the painting just disappears like a Harry Potter painting or something. This is just really suspicious, if anything else. And so we went home, I told Luke off for being a jerk, and Man is just sleeping in her room. And Luke is having to sleep outside for swine. And now, oh boy. Oh boy, where I left off, as she's dreaming, she's looking down the cellar with the ghost going, ah, 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 me. and 
It, it's really off-putting. Oh yeah, I also made this joke about the ghost painting herself. <laughs> just a little bit that, just a little bit of block here. Anyway, um, so that's where I left off, and I just recorded it all because um, I, I just found out that it didn't record my voice, so that's really, really frustrating and really, really annoying. So that's the bad news. The good news is, I suppose you can uh, watch me uh, with the rest of this gameplay, so enjoy. All right, let's do this properly, shall we? Up and then bam, yang yang, Teofili. This is so I could get the timing right. Disclaimer and the game. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Hello, everybody, Scott Meyer here, and there's gonna be a jump scare coming up. I am the wife of the billionaire. We just afforded a mansion that is haunted by a ghost, and she calls me. Uh, she's delivered us to where we are. She has scared us further. She is everything that's scary and more. Still, she calls me. And the call isn't out there at all, it's in the basement. It's like a wind, if it was more creepy. I'm expecting a scary jump scare right behind me. And one day I'll know. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting that to happen. <sighs> For goodness sakes. For... Good thanks! And now I will continue to narrate as Team Curry, alone in bed and without Luke to hunt the covers. I'm swathed in cloth and silked in sweat. It takes me a while to untangle myself and kick them all off. Both the bed and I are the right mess by the end of it all, but I am more than eager to just get up and go out for some fresh. I forgot to record. I forgot to record. <sighs> I forgot to flipping record. Now I have to do all that again. <sighs> Okay. Yep. Okay. I forgot to record that. I forgot to record that. This is just embarrassing in general. I forgot to record the whole thing. The original recording just didn't. Uh, it's not easy doing this sort of thing, okay? I learned from my mistakes. Let's just get on with it. I'm sorry. I'm losing my patience at this point. October 26th of Wednesday. Okay, that's a new look. It's no longer orange, but blue. Okay, that's the readjustment signs if I've ever heard them. We haven't talked much. Look and I outside of necessity. In fact, we've hardly talked beyond the topic of ac ac acquisitions of properties. Properties being the mansion, obviously. Obviously. Everything has just been so busy that I haven't talked to anyone outside of business. It is just so stressful. So one can understand my need for a good chat. Preferably over a good meal. There are many times when any decent, emotionally healthy, and socially capable person need a good friend. One who will talk to them without the conversation degrading or turning into an argument. Or barring a nearby friend, I have an interior designer under a confident to the agreement to listen to me. Up higher! Come on now! Alright, will do. The place is bustling with movers, carrying furnishings here and there, along with several trunks of personal belongings taken from our penthouse. I can hear Luke barking at them in the other room, make sure nothing is handled to carelessly or gets stolen. Careful now! 
I know your pictures are framed by cheap plastic, but those are framed by African Blackwood and are one-of-a-kind commissioned paintings. Yeah, uh, long story short, they're expensive. Each one is easily worth a lifetime of what you not make! It is hard to tune him out. The walls did not do a good job of muffling him out at all. But then again, it is Luke. Well, I suppose people can hear my screams all around the mansion if the ghost shows up again. I would still hear him ranting, even if we were on the opposite sides of the mansion, and I'm still wearing earplugs. I'd really like to thank you for inviting me to breakfast, Mrs. Wright. Ah, yes. Miss McCulloch, sipping all the tea, smiling but with... But I already me. ate, so I should really go back to work. By all means. Nonsense! You arrived so early, you must not have gotten a proper meal. Indeed. Our butler has made a surprisingly lovely bubble and squeak. Um, just before I just do that. Sit. Sit! I'd situate us in the dining hall, but it is a mess right now. Hence the reason why we're having tea and coffee and uh, uh, nice breakfast and toast and egg, poached eggs on toast and the cereal here. Oh, Johans! Johans. Johan Sheeran, <laughs> the man in question appears, already with a tray as he starts to set the table for us. We sit in quiet silence as we each served a plate. Ooh! <laughs> now, isn't that just delicate? I mean, look at that! Ooh! Nice! Nicely poached egg with cherry tomatoes, bubble and squeak. And the other goddesses adorn the edges of the plate. What? What is that? I mean, obviously those are cherry potatoes. That's some salad. That's uh, probably some bacon or something, some 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 goat's cheese covered in vinegar or something like that. And there's orange juice. There's some tea. But what is that? Is that a potato wedge? Is that a uh... whatever it is? It looks t tasty. <laughs> Go to a saucer and a teapot with some Earl Grey is placed down for Marianne, and I ask for Orange Julius. Oh my! What a sophisticated name for orange juice! Julius! <laughs> if you were to combine it with Caesar salad, it's Orange Julius Caesar salad. <laughs> How are you liking the project? Drop that buzz and I'll have your head! I know it's only an 8 million yen vase, but I swear, I... Well, it's certainly a fun challenge, incorporating the designs of a Jacobean manor and the functionality of a modern household. A Jacobean? Like, like the Scottish Jacobites? I have ideas I would like to suggest, by the way, about what to use the second bedroom for. Okay, go ahead. I have been informed of your goddaughter and thought a kid-friendly room might be in order. You read my mind. I was actually going to bring that up. They're gonna raise a family here? Or any relatives coming up? Oh, that would just be so lovely, Marianne. That way, Kylie can bring her friends over as well. Excellent, excellent. And a good friend of mine, Rochelle, is expecting a baby. So, why don't we think about putting a crib in there too? Just makes sense. I mean, well, I mean, there's that whole thing about the ghost is probably gonna give the baby snap for days, but. Who knows, maybe the baby will... Maybe the ghost will go gentle on babies. After all, babies are innocent, right? Right! I can just imagine little ones running around, filling this place with the pitta patter of their feet. Oh. We'd have to make sure they don't trip and fall on the stairs, though. That's already happened with Isabella. And we must make sure that they don't go to the attic. We won't be able to finish everything up until after the party. But we'll have it ready by then, so that all we need to do is to move in the furnishings. Very good. Yes, that's plenty fine. It's not like we're in a hurry to have it. And we wouldn't want the workers to disturb the guests or the other way around, do we? No. Just make sure it's presentable. You know, in case a guest snoops about. <laughs> you already got it. You know, guest snipping a bird to the ghost, except you're, you're being the guest snipping a bird. He's <laughs> a ghost. <laughs> of course. As for the kitchen you wanted, I've already negotiated for the high-end stoves and the hot and cold drawers, so on and so forth. 
I've got a friend who was able to customize them so that they'll look like the counters we'll be replacing and fit the rest of the interior. Huzzah! They'll be bringing them in today. Very good. Why can't you people do anything right? Don't drag it, you'll scratch the wood. That is mahogany! Excellent. But no, really, how have you liked it so far? Oh, it has been wonderful, believe me. Everything is going smoothly, too. It has been a long time since I've worked on something in this grand a scale. Nowadays, everyone is about condos and flats, living in the city where every room is an identical box. It needs, just needs variety. Believe me, this is very refreshing. Good to know, Marianne. We lived in a condo before this, Marianne. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean any insult. I... It's fine, sweetie. Look at you, all frazzled. I was just pulling your leg. Luke wanted that penthouse when we got married, and you can thank him for purchasing this place as well. She looks confused. Of course, she has every right to be. She no doubt that we heard me push that estate agent into the sale, making quite the aggressive offer. She saw me sign the papers for the mansion as well. I just had to scoff. Some scones. Nom, 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 nom. Don't be fooled. I'm just the treasury. I wouldn't be able to make a purchase this grand without his seal of approval. <laughs> I see. That's it. That's all you have to say. Yep, pretty much. Yes. It wouldn't be appropriate to comment further. It is unprofessional. And we are, by the very definition of the word, professional. No one could ever purchase a haunted mansion like we rich swags. Unprofessional. I can't help but let out a deep sigh as I stick a fork into the dish. I didn't want professional. Oh, the unprofessional way of buying a haunted mansion with a destroyer. <laughs> I want someone who will either agree with me, even if it's just for the sake of agreeing, or someone who will try to take some sense into me. Or talk some sense, sorry. Natural responses are so boring. I emphasize boring because it's in italics. There is no discourse in the middle ground. The food is good. Best bubble and squeak. Huh? Of course it is. Our kitchen staff only uses the freshest hand-picked ingredients. Only the best for the rights. Best healthy organic foods. Mr. Wright is not joining us? No, he, he, we're not in his court case. No, he is far too busy bossing people around. He even refused to join me for breakfast earlier. Hence, this. He pretty much eats wood for breakfast, as far as I know. I see. My apologies. I really don't know what sort of response you expect to get from me. This, there is the clatter of silverware as I slam my hands on the table. It is frustrating. I am frustrated. At Luke, mostly. But Marianne's neutral, professional answers are certainly irksome. Irksome. <laughs> That's a quirky new word for me. Irksome, as well. Irksome. You're a human with feelings and opinions, aren't you? You have feelings and opinions. Don't give me this bollocks about being professional when we're having a nice, friendly chat over a nice and friendly breakfast. So yeah, we better get nice and friendly. We gotta have some nice social commentary. You know, you and me, we gotta have a nice commentary. Like, how are you walking your dog and walking your cat today? Huh? This is a friendly, this is a friendly breakfast. I can only talk about interior designs for so long and I detest one-sided conversations, Marianne. But... I I really don't know what to say, Mrs. Wright. We were talking of no topic in particular, and... We're talking about a topic now! Luke. We were talking about Luke. About him not eating breakfast with you? About him treating me as if I were some treasury! He tends to treat women as objects. I didn't realize that I shouted out loud until it is too late. This is a stunned silence that settled before I slumped back into the seat. Hiding my face behind my hands, I can feel my shoulders shake. Breathe, I told myself. Calm down. 
but a dream. But it is just so hard! Honestly, sometimes I feel like he doesn't love me anymore. You, do, you gotta work hard for relationships. That's the way it goes. Oh, have I been so blind? Did he ever love me at all? Is our marriage all for the sake of saving his company and his wealth? I may have been that, but I think there's some love in there. He, mean, he married you for a reason. You see, relationships, you just gotta work hard for relationships. Because? Because? Because, 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 because! Because of the wonderful things he does! It has been rumored before, the real reason for our engagement. But if anyone were to know of this, managers of necessity to carry on political and financial power used to be a common thing. I'm talking to Tim Curry now. But the Evans Right Union is the perfect happily ever after. It was supposed to be. It is true that we first met each other in order to discuss dealings to make the then failing right enterprise a subsidiary for Evans Incorporated. But I do remember being in love with him and there were times when she, when she said that she loved me back. Even if I'm not sure what the truth is now. They called me mad! Insane! When? They barred me from the universities until I had no choice but to flee here and conduct my research! Well, who's crazy now? Who's mad now? <laughs> Do try the casserole, Miss uh, McCullough, before it gets cold. Marianne threaten her? Ask for her silence. Ask for silence. Marianne is sort good sorted, you see? Hold on, sorry, I need, I need to think for a moment. Just being friendly. Yeah, just being friendly, yeah. So far, she's been reasonable and accommodating, even towards Luke's ridiculous requests. Patient and professional. Did it only extend to business? Or would she be able to understand that things like this are not simple, not as clean as they paint it to be? Certainly, I can talk to her. Ask for her. I won't speak a word, Mrs. Wright. Not only am I contractually obliged to, it would also go against my principles. Indeed. This is no one else's business but your own, and it should be kept between the two of you. Thank you. And whoever you wish to seek counsel from. Thank you, Miss McCulloch. I'm glad I can depend on you for that. Please, Marianne. You have to understand. But you gotta have friends. These sort of affairs. If anyone were to know this, they could just twist it and we'll be ruined. All I ask for is your silence on the matter. If I am to be frank, Mrs. Wright, this isn't new for me. You aren't the first, and you certainly won't be the last to have complicated dealings. Indeed. Unless what you're doing is illegal, I turn a blind eye. Indeed. Can I trust her? I mean, so far so good, I mean. Let's just save it here for the time being. <laughs> if I wasn't in the same boat... I'd be trying to pry those secrets and gossip with you about them by now. Well, I'm keeping that information confidential as well. It's not like I have any other choice, do I? Thank you. We continue to eat our meal in peace, finishing the last of the food and the drink. I told you you'd enjoy the casserole. I saw that, viewers! Yes, that! You think I've got a clock in my head, don't you? When the door of the parlor open, Marianne and I are just sitting in silence. Madam, the photographer from Luxury Living is here. Excellent. I give him nothing but a small nod. This was a wonderful meal, Marianne. You're free to return to your duties. I must excuse myself. It was my pleasure. Pleasure doing business with you. And thank you for the food as well. Yeah, you're welcome. Making my way downstairs, I look back and see Marianne, give me a nod, and a small smile. This certainly puts me in lighter spirits. 
An interview with Luxury Living. That is today, isn't it? Oh yes. People had caught wind of our new mansion the very moment we left the open house. Who could boasted we could acquire the prophecy? Pro prophecy? Pro prophecy! <laughs> the, the ghost will stalk you when you sleep. That is a prophecy. <laughs> no time allowed a photo shoot of an interior design magazine to be scheduled today. A haunted magazine, right? Well, there were complications and it took longer than it usually does for us. Hopefully, I won't have any other unfortunate slip-ups with someone who isn't bound by CONFIDENTIALITY. That's right, sophisticated words. Mansion grounds have been one of the first things to be fixed up, aside from the bedroom. Although it's still a work in progress, it has a promising start. I can already see the flower patches. Luke's favored daffodils stands out easily, having been transplanted from the pots uh, that's used to litter the rooftop of our penthouse. Why, if the moving crew thought that Luke was being hard on them, they clearly didn't see the landscaper on his way out. The man looked like he was ready to faint, and Luke seemed ready to kill him by the end of her discussion. Hey, it's, it's Zack! Hello! Sorry to miss the Hulk for man that clearly did not belong here, and the big flapjack in a suitcase that he made for himself make him look much larger. It is a peculiar sight, seeing someone who looks like he does handling little delicate things with such care. He looks up from the guards and takes a double take before a friendly face replaces his serene expression. Miss Wright, yeah? Hi, uh, Zachary Steele here from Luxury Living, ma'am. Hello, Zach. Hope you weren't waiting too long. No? Huh? But it looks like you're still moving in, huh? Yep. Thought for a second there my calendar was wrong and I came here too early. You look... familiar. Have we met? If you go back in time to Isabella's story, we might have. I have a wide, very wide social circle, so everyone looks familiar at one point or another. <laughs> but one would think I'd remember someone who stands out like him. The struggle to recall must have been evident on my face as he quickly and kindly answers my question. Oh, I was with Isabella, your estate agent, when she had the house blessed. Yes. Okay, so this is set after the, uh, the, the, the house blessing. Okay, right. The timeline seems to jump uh, forth here and there. Gotta keep house. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm still glad I made that decision. Small world, isn't it? Indeed. Indeed. It should have known you were Ms. Wright. The one and only. Oh, look at her blush. Welcome, welcome to Maison de Wright. Maison de Wright. And yes. We've been in the process of moving in as we were delayed, but it won't be a problem. Not anymore. They're just adding a few things here and there, and you should still be able to do your work. Where's the rest of your crew then, Mr. Steele? Out in the cinema? Zack is fine, please. Mr. Steele makes me feel like I'm a mascot for a cleaning product. Yeah, your hair does look like a mop. <laughs> anyway, I'll be your one-man crew for today. Don't worry, been doing this gig for a while now. Very good. You must be quite the veteran to handle this on your own. We've had a full crew coming into our penthouse the last time we were covered in your magazine. Veteran? Oh, you, your words are too kind, Miss Wright. Hana! If I get to call you Zack, you have my permission to call me Hana. And that's how he got his nickname, Zack. Alrighty then. Anyway, I'm no veteran, but I know my camera well enough to make sure this is a good shoot. You can trust me on that, Miss Rat. <laughs> Zack, Harry, Hana. Yay! We got some photos taken. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, paparazzi. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank. You. thank you. Take another one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Pictures, please. Pictures. Come on. Yep. That's it, that's it. Boat, took a boat. You say boat. Okay. A fish.
Okay, that's enough photos. He's gotten gorgeous. Okay. Really nice fellow, and he treats like the hustle as well as we cross paths with them. I answer the question to the best of my ability, and he is patient enough to answer whenever I get curious enough. For one, I ask where the bags are for. They are quite the magician's toolkit. From inside, he has produced several items to embellish the interior with bowls of fruits, lemon trays with pepper milk, jacks of cookbooks, cutting boards, and glass canisters filled with colorful nuts and grains are brought to his kitchen setting. For the bathroom, there are white towels, seashells, and decorative soap. There are several other things too numerous to count. In the backpack, light suitcase. Tricks of the trade. Softens up a room. It makes a place feel more homey and fills it up with texture. Alright, I hope those photos were good. So they're gonna put them on the internet now. But you guys probably have better stuff I can use for this. Indeed. No lights. Don't tell me all these are just props. Well, I've got my tripod here. For things like these, natural light is best. I'll just have to set the shutter speed to a real slow setting, and as long as nobody steps into the shot, it'll look great. Nice. Oh, it better. Oh, yes. We go through the rooms at one at a time, although we first tackled the ones that the room with no business in anymore. Oh, wow. Now that is a ballroom. Although there is trouble at first. With the wide open space, the pictures being black -lit. Ah, yes, the fine, exquisite scenes. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? That is gorgeous, darling, that got one. That is absolutely fabulous. <laughs> I imagine it can be cathartic at times. Indeed, it can be. There's more snippets of conversation in between the clicking of the camera. Even goes as far as with the terminologies like shutter speeds and aperture, when I talk about the technical ah, aspect, I can't see the picture as it's made, much like I would have artists paint on their canvas. But just watching Tom passionately practicing their craft is as much as exciting on it on its way. Oh, but going through the many rooms has been quite the exercise. Alright, just smile and wave, everybody. Is it just me, or is the game like, like kind of like a mirage? I'd better save it here. Ghost's gonna pop out, actually. The ghost is gonna pop out. <laughs> I've seen images! I know what's gonna happen next! But for the viewers, I must do it. <laughs> here we go. Just for a moment. And I had not been paying attention, I wouldn't have even noticed. There's a merely split second when Zachary's rhythm is put to a halt. Oh my goodness. Her finger doesn't move to release the shot of sweat. Oh my goodness. Can I get a selfie? Can I get into the photo? I own the mansion. Can I please get in? Come on, I'll do a photo bar. Please get me in the picture. And also, it doesn't pull the camera away from his face. Gay still firmly fixed through the viewfinder. Well, you made the right decision to get a priest here! His hands shake and there's a, a light sween of sweat on his forehead. Zachary? Um... No response. Zach, is something the matter? Um, we, we got a ghost girl who, who's photobombing? Lowering his camera, he blinks and stares at something behind me before shaking his head. Turning around, though, I see nothing that could have gotten his attention. Okay... Oh, oh no, no, there, there, there's nothing wrong. I, I just remembered something I saw. RUN! Uh, let's get back to the pictures. Can you move a bit more to the left, yeah? Actually, could you, could you like, come to the front door? Yeah, yeah, just like, oh no, just, just further away from the front door, out, out, out the mansion. Yeah, could you just come come out of the mansion? Yeah, you, could, you could just get in the car. Yeah, you, could you just drive far away? Can I get a, a viewpoint of the whole ma just, just back off the city, yeah, city view of the, from the from the mansion. Can I just take a picture of you there? 
I struggled to respond this time. There was a sudden weight on my back, and an indescribable tightness around my throat. Everything stops. Everything starts again as I manage to choke out. If you're sure. I don't know what just happened. It was probably just a dizzy spell. <laughs> I'm... No, you're not. He said he's fine. Yeah. When people say they're fine, that really means they are the complete opposite of fine. Oh, and my phone went off. Where? Where my, there it is. <laughs> phone went off. I just heard that. Anyway. We continue at the same pace as before, although there is an unspoken uh, argument that we will not talk about what happened. So, is this a full-time job for you then? Nah, I just freelance mostly for magazines, newspapers, and events. So you can't really call it a full-time job. Right. It's fun and it puts food on the table, but it's not what I really want to do. Oh? At least, not all the time. Oh. What is it that you want to do then? I want to be a lumberjack, leaping from tree to tree as they float down the mighty rivers. The lock, the fur, the mighty Scots pine, <laughs> la, 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 la. the towering what name of Abraham, <laughs> with my best bunny by my side, and sing, sing, sing. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. I cut down trees, I eat my lunch, I go to the lavatory. On Wednesdays I go shopping and have buttered scones for tea. He cuts down trees, he eats his lunch, he goes to the lavatory. On Wednesdays he goes shopping has buttered scones for tea. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. I cut down trees, I skip and jump. I like to press wildflowers. I put on women's clothing and hang around in bars. He cuts down trees, he skips and jumps. He likes to press wildflowers. He puts on women's clothing and hangs around in bars? He's a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. I cut down trees that wear high heels, suspendies, and a bra. I wish I'd been a girly, just like my dear papa. He cuts down trees, he wears high heels, suspenders, and a bra. No, no, stop, no, oh, stop it, don't stop it, stop it, God, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha